Luckily for me, I secretly slipped a nickel bead onto Kabuto's chair before we started. A what? So it most likely went in when he sat down. That ain't no bead? Now all I need to do is listen to the vibrations it's giving off to be able to tell what answers he's putting down. What? I just realized Dosu probably placed that bead here as a way to cheat. I can't let anyone realize I saw it and willingly sat down without knowing it was for cheating purposes. What? Man, what is good with y'all? It's your boy OG from the Woe Clan. We are back with another video. This time we are reacting to Naruto Unhinged Episode 7, the first exam. Hey man, say man, it's been a minute. I ain't gonna lie. It's been like two, three weeks since I dropped a vid. My computer been like out of commission, bro. I don't know what was happening to it, bro, but I got it working. I got it fixed right on time. I'm talking about on time. I think that was God telling me I gotta go harder, bro. I think that's what it is. Every time something go wrong, I think it's God trying to teach me a lesson, like, to be honest. So I got to go harder. I'm going to stay consistent. I'm talking about uploads every day. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere. Psych, I ain't uploading every day. But hey, just, just know I'm, I'm going to upload a lot more often. Trust me. So look, we got a new OBZ video. Shout out to Brock OBZ, man. You know I fuck with your videos. And we about to react to the newest one, episode seven. I'm going to stop wasting y'all time. And let's get straight. Two. I do not own Naruto or any other series related to it. Yeah. This video is a parody yeah. for entertainment purposes yeah. and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. I haven't heard that so theme that song in so long, bro. Episode 7, the first exam. Seventy k is crazy. You know what's crazier? watching these again because i haven't seen like naruto in a long time like in a long time like i I watched naruto when it came out type shit so it's like for me going back and watching this it's just it feels like a new show i ain't gonna lie all right then now that i have like what happened to buddy with the scars like i haven't seen him in forever he died because he wasn't in shippuden like and, and that's what i'm saying he probably died and i forgot like i don't know the rules to this first in the exam. comments let me know what happened to him this exam is a written test and your main goal is to answer these questions the same way you think of real Yo, that's a nigga for real you hear his voice oh this gonna be an easy 100 then the only rule we got set for this exam is there's no cheating because if you cheat you will bitch damn he said that's so harsh now we gonna start you niggas off with 10 points and you lose a point for each question you get wrong if you get caught cheating you'll lose two points now if one of you dumbass niggas fails this entire <laughs> test every person on your team fails too somebody gonna ask for it bro damn it why the f does that have to be a rule that pink haired meat rider isn't gonna get a single question right this should be an easy test for you don't worry naruto yeah, you're right, Hinata. But do you think you'll be able to answer every question on this test like a real nigga? <laughs> I'll be fine as long as I answer them the same way you answer them. She basically just called me a real nigga without saying it. That's Some facts. Some see that as meat riding, but me personally, I she see is it on your dick. respect. All right, now fix your faces, because y'all got one hour to finish this exam starting now. correct answer for these questions damn it how am i supposed to answer these it's about time i show these niggas that i'm a real nigga let me find oh, out let me find out naruto gonna pass his test with flying colors bro let me find out bro because everybody is so afraid of this test oh this is when they start cheating this is when agario had like the eye going around okay okay i know what this is do is get these questions right now let's see what the first question says I'm already knowing this test bout to be mad easy because the first question says if you are approached by a group of people and they ask what your shoe size is how should you respond in parentheses it says these people are black hold on hold on what size shoes you wear what what, what bro say on row bounce hey you got a size 17 b naught size 17 back there b naught size 17 back there b naught talk my talk man but if it's a group of niggas though no nah, i say that around a group of bitches you know what i'm saying so they know what's up you know what i'm saying shoe size 
If the shoe big, you know what else be? Shoe big, you know what else? You know what else? <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> what the f does this even mean? That's pretty easy. You can either ignore them and keep it pushing, or you can stand on business and tell oh, them that you're. Oh, cause yeah, cause like, hey, what what shoe size you wear? Cause they gonna try to take your shoe. And they gonna be like, oh, that's my size. Oh, I guess I'm not a real nigga, bro. I don't know. Shoe is not their size. Ain't nobody walking up to me trying to take my shoes. You know what I'm saying? My shoes, my like again, my shoe size too big, and not everybody can fit my shoe size. You hear me? <laughs> if you know, you know. Now let's see what question number two is asking. If you happen to find yourself in a heated argument with someone who has a metal plate in their jaw, what should be your main priority? Oh, hell no. In parentheses, <laughs> it says, his name is John John. I knew it. How hey. are you even supposed to answer this? And why the hell is his name important to the question? You gotta go, bro. You don't, you don't you don't fuck with a nigga named John John, Your main bro. priority should be There's off RDC, bro. You don't fuck with a nigga named John John. Because if that nigga really has a metal plate in his mouth and has nah. a name like that, He's probably crazy and fights pit bulls. These questions don't make any sense. They sound like questions Naruto would ask. Wait a minute. Only a select few of us would be able to answer all these questions. And the instructor probably knew that. And going off of the things I heard Naruto say about being a real N-word, he would probably say that they would get answers by any means possible without being caught. So that's probably the actual purpose of this exam. Luckily for me, I believe Naruto knows the answer to all these questions. I just need to find a way to see his answers without getting caught. Where's all these people at, man? Are they still alive? Were they in the war? Who is this guy? I don't know how he expects us to answer these. Poor Naruto. He's probably over there struggling unlike my glorious King Sasuke, who's probably almost finished. I'll just have to pull my weight and make sure I pass this test to hopefully increase our chances Get of moving on. Get off his on. dick. We just started and I'm almost done with this test. This is just too easy. Now let's see what question number 10 says. In your own words, define the term real nigga. Ain't no mm. way they put this as the last question. This is probably the easiest one. On hey, in the comments, let me know what y'all think, what that is. What is a real nigga? I don't care if you white. I don't care if you black. What is a real nigga? Test. You know what? I'm going to purposely get this wrong just so they know I could have answered this question correctly, but chose not to. Why? That's some real nigga shit if you ask me. <laughs> so my definition of that term would be Naruto Uzumaki. Yo. Yo. <laughs> We're Gara with the eyeball. Gotta be a different episode. He's not even writing anymore, so he's most likely done. But I can't find an opening to see what he put. Especially since that weird ass Proctor keeps looking over at me. But that's besides oh, the point. I remember that. I remember because that. it seems like some people are slowly catching on to the real purpose of this exam. Yeah. <laughs> Even Gara knows that you have to cheat like a monkey to get results sometimes. Since oh I have just God, finished my racist. test, I should start planning on how I can make that sand village racist crash out. I'm surprised you can see his paper from here, little buddy. As much as I hate on Naruto, I can at least admit that he's probably going to do good on this test. But of course, I'll never let him know that. Luckily for me, I secretly slipped an apple bead onto Kabuto's chair before we started. A what? So it most likely went in when he sat down. That ain't no B. Now all I need to do is listen to the vibrations it's giving off to be able to tell what answers he's putting down. What? I just realized Dosu probably placed that bead here as a way to cheat. I can't let anyone realize I saw it and willingly sat down without knowing it was for cheating purposes. What? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? This is crazy. Are you sure these are the right answers? You said Kiba and Sasuke were trying to copy Naruto's answers? So you think Naruto's answers are correct then? Uh, bro, you're a right, bro. Then. What? That's good enough for me. Because you did good today, what? I have a surprise for you tonight. Hey. Make Wait, no, let, let me let me resume that. What was he talking about? You're gonna have a surprise for him tonight. 
What you about to do to that bug, bro? He'll fly. Ruto's answers are correct, then? All right, then. That's good enough for me. Because you did good today, I have a surprise for you tonight. Make sure you leave your wings extra oily before coming to see me. Wow. Damn, girl. We're in public right now. We can't be seen talking like this. So we'll continue this conversation tonight when you get those wings. Bro, he a wings freaky ass up. nigga. He a section nine god. He a he a fan. Finding out that <laughs> Bro, about this. And the <laughs> two <teammate laughs> was never <laughs> seen again. <laughs> I have Bro about the fuck a bug is crazy. Oh, he put on a do rag, it's over with. Yeah. Rock Lee with do I have an idea on what I can do with that information. The instigation planning phase is now complete. Now all I need to do is find the right moment to start the first stage of the instigation itself. I shouldn't have finished the test this early. Cause now I'm bored as hell and have to just sit here. Damn it. Yeah, he really hurt because of that. Since you already finished, can I ask you for a favor? Huh? Why is she stuttering so much? What is she about to ask? If you don't mind, can you give me the N-word pass for one minute? Woo! What the fuck? I'm just going to act like I didn't hear that and ignore her. Woo! <laughs> Damn it. She did technically call me a real nigga earlier, and she listens to young boy too. Mm. Fuck it, let's just see what happens. I'll give you the pass for 30 seconds starting from the exact moment I stop talking. So say what you need to say and make it quick. Oh, um, I only wanted it because I wanted to answer the last question by sis saying Naruto Uzumaki because he is a real nigga, because I truly believe that. It looks wow. like she actually believes every word that she's saying right now. The realest nigga alive. Wow. <laughs> You gotta marry Shorty, bro. You gotta marry her. You gotta have kids with her. And name your son Boruto. This must be what it's like for Sasuke when he gets glazed. But the only difference is, I don't see this as meat writing. I see this as real recognizing real. That sounds like a great answer, Hinata. And I appreciate the nice words you said about a young fly nigga like myself. Yo. So as a way to say thank you, I want you to keep the N-word pass for as long as you like. Wow. What the fuck did I do? What did you do? You blatantly cheated right in front of me. Wow. Don't even explain it to him. Just drag him and his sorry ass team out yeah, of my classroom. Fuck? Who was that? Don't play no, he said sorry for the voice change. I got you, bro. Sit your ugly ass back down and do your test, little nigga. He got yeah. pressed up on a wall in front yeah. of a whole classroom just for asking a question. Wouldn't let that happen to me, though. <laughs> the realest nigga alive. That's facts. Damn it. I'm just guessing at this point. What? My glorious king wouldn't oh, be happy, but it's the only thing I can do at this okay. point. Okay. Excuse that was unnecessary, me. bro. I need to use the bathroom before I piss myself. <laughs> if he's doing what I think he is, then I might give him a promotion in the clan. Make it quick. Finally, an opening to get Naruto's answers. If he lifts his arm again before that proctor gets back, I'll be able to see what he put down by using my Sharingan. Or better known as the Edgerin Gone. What bro, a perfect stop. name. Stop. Powered by stop, the perfect bro. practice. No, it's Edgy. not. Just nut. I can see a few people trying to but. come to Naruto. So somehow he must have the right answers. And if that's the case, I'll just use my mind transfer jutsu. <laughs> now, all I have to do is memorize these answers. How did nobody see her do all that, man? She's doing he gang signs in classroom, bro. finally have a clear view of his paper. Man, the I teachers are trash. Now. Like they're These literally, they literally are doing so of everything this in front of y'all. Any sense to me? So instead of wasting my superior mind on these questions, I'll just get my answers from one of the chimpanzees. 
<laughs> I also see this as a perfect. What's even crazier, bro? And correct me if I'm wrong. I only seen Gar use that eye technique one time, and this is the only time I've seen him do it. Opportunity for the white man to prosper while stealing from the blacks. It sucks, bro, because he's my favorite character, bro. I knew something was off with him. No one from the superior race would willingly put down such ignorant answers. He must be a half-breed. How unfortunate. Yeah, light-skinned nigga. Unlike most of these people, I don't need to cheat. I have enough experience from the hood to answer these questions. Thanks for helping me get out that classroom. I was surrounded by way too many half-breed mind swingers. You two be hating, bro. I, I get it. I know you definitely understand what it feels like to need a break from being around some nigga. Isn't that right, Jim? Whoa. Jim Crow's puppet. I can't take, I don't know if I can take this anymore. This is like, this is getting real. You know what I'm saying? The amount of racism in this video is insane. I can feel my ancestors just, you know, they, they want to say something so bad. You know what I'm saying? But I keep it going. It's so busy. This first exam is dragging on way too long for my liking. I just want to go home and smoke the weed I bought for me and Asuma Sensei yesterday. You know what? Never mind. Asuma be smoking. already smoked the last little bit that was left. Bro be smoking. Isn't that Shikamaru's last bit of the weed? Yeah. So why are you <laughs> yeah. smoking it then? Fuck that little nigga. I know you heard me. So how long <laughs> do you plan on sitting there with that dumbass look on your face? My fault, Kakashi. I zoned out. You know how strong this Leaf Village pack is. But anyways, what did you say again? I'm not gonna lie, I said, bro. Why are you sm Imagine getting some weed from the village called the Leaf. <laughs> Yo, that sounds like the perfect place to get some tree from. You feel me? Yeah, hold on now. You might be on to something, OBZ. What if you somehow get a collaboration with, you know, Naruto, and y'all make a strand of weed? That'd be... <laughs> That'd be fire. Gas. I need my percentage, though. I need my cut. Smoking Shikamaru's last bit of the weed. Nigga, I don't know. Weed for me is like what the Green Goblin was for Norman Osborn in Spider-Man 1. I'll be chilling. Then I'll start hearing the weed call out to me repeatedly. Oh, that's not weed, Then bro. I usually end up smoking the weed after. I don't know what, what are you talking about. What are you even talking about? Yeah, that's you sound not like weed. an addicted crackhead. Fuck you. Come on, bro, Kakashi. Addicted. Just leave him alone. I get he's your boyfriend or whatever, but I'm getting tired of having to deal with this nigga every time he gets high. Now that's a word we usually don't hear you say without a reason. That's true. Looks like hearing Naruto out of say the N-word 20 times a day is bringing that 37% of African back out of you. Whatever. Talk 37%? to me once you sober up. No way he fell asleep. <laughs> All right, listen up. RP we still awesome, have 15 man. minutes left, but I can see that most of you are already done. So I'm adding a bonus question worth 100% of the grade on your test. If it's worth 100% of the grade, doesn't that technically mean... So technically, if you got every answer wrong, but get the bonus question right, you pass. This is perfect, because I really was just guessing on every that question. Is, but I it's a double-edged sword. Because even if you got all the answers right on the test, oh. but get the bonus question wrong, then you fail the entire What's the exam. What's the point of this bonus? So wouldn't it be what? smart to like, just not take attempt the test? bonus question if you think you got all the oh, other you questions have a choice. correct? Okay, I'm but not, you listening. See, I'm not listening. If those were the only two rules for the bonus question, then that would be boring. So I'm going to add one more. If you don't take the bonus question, then you also fail the entire what? exam. What? Which by default will disqualify your whole team. See that? See, that's why we don't see this nigga no more. Hmm. Bullshit like this that. This nigga doesn't know who he's talking to. Like, like that's why he's not on the show no more. That reason right there, because that bullshit he just spit out his mouth, bro. That bullshit. That kind of made me mad because I feel like I'm taking the test as well. I don't know why, but that would have pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I would have walked out of the classroom, bro. Fuck being Shinobi. I'm going to join that Koski, nigga. Fuck y'all, niggas. I would have marked my shit up and been out of there, nigga. Rogue. Because I was going to attempt the bonus either way. Plus, I got faith in Sasuke to get this question right. Wait a minute. I forgot about her. 
There's not a single timeline where she would be able to answer these questions correctly. Yeah, she failed. All she knows is meat riding Sasuke. Facts. So there's no way she would be able to answer whatever this bonus question is. She has no idea. Is. Damn it. She's going to sell the whole team. Oh, the whole team fails. I'm not listening. You can't do that. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking That's about. That's not fair. Thank you. can't you. just add rules like that. Especially when the test is almost over. You know what you sound like right now? A bitch. What? You sound like a bitch. Now sit down and stop complaining. Damn. Now, does anyone tough. else have something they need to say? That's tough. I ain't gonna lie. I said the same shit. I guess I'm, I ain't no bitch though. <laughs> He's right though. This isn't fair at all. That basically means we just spent almost the last hour doing something pointless. It's like you want us to fail. I don't care if you think it's fair or if it's pointless. The third Hokage wanted a real nigga to hold the first part of the exams. So he specifically chose me. And I'll be damned if I let some lil motherfuckers that I watch cheat try and tell me how to handle my test that I personally created. Damn. So you should be happy I don't disqualify some of you like I did that other team. Because at least you guys were actually sneaky about it. I didn't even have to cheat. Loki, that's a flex. That is a flex. Before I tell you what the final question is, I would like to give you this option as well. If you or anyone on your team gets this question wrong, you will forever be prohibited from getting the N-word pass and label. But if you leave now, I will let you try again next year. Just raise your hand to signal that you will be leaving. Wow. So what would y'all do? Would y'all leave or try again next year? Or would y'all go ahead and attempt? That that bonus question. Bring on a bonus question. I don't got time. I, if I fail, bro, I'm going rogue. As simple as that, bro. Simple. That's the, the fuck. Yeah. Got a bunch of bitch. Wow. Yeah. That, get them out of here. Pack them up. Damn it. I don't know what to do. I mean, there's a small chance that Meat Rider might get it right by guessing, but that's highly unlikely. So if she gets it wrong, it would lock me out of getting the label forever. That's but on facts. the other hand, if I leave now, I would have to wait an entire year. And there's a chance they might not even have this exam ever again. You know what? Fuck it. What you, what you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. You and your weak ass test. Hey, that was bold, bro. I'm not about to let some old ass nigga wearing a Timu Leaf Village do rag be the reason I fail Timu? just because you want to add some random rules. So listen up, because I'm speaking for everyone in this classroom when I say this. We're not doing whatever that weak ass bonus question is. So go ahead and fail all of us. And while you're at it, try using some cocoa butter. Cause that scar on your face is it's mad dry. crusty, my nigga. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Now that's how you stand on business. Loud and obnoxious, just like the rest of his kind. Bro, I shut like up. a man that stands on business. What? Interesting. Oh. oh. I know that look. So is this your final decision? Eat a dick. What a response. What a response. All right, then it's decided. I will be passing everyone in this class. Let's go. Why, though? This seems really random. And if you're being serious about the passing part, then the first 90% of the test was actually pointless. So we basically just wasted a whole well, stop hour complaining, doing nothing of passed. All right, listen. It wasn't fully pointless. Of course, someone worthy of the N-word pass and label would find a way to get answers by any means necessary. But also, anyone can cheat so that alone isn't a valid test. Ah. So think of it as just a little segment to transition into the actual test. The real test started with the bonus question. So I was simply waiting for someone to actually yeah. challenge and go against the unfair rules I was adding. Facts. If that's the case, why didn't you pass us after I said the rules were unfair? You didn't really challenge me. 
You just complained about the rules. Ooh. Then when I called you a bitch, you shut up instantly. Ooh. On the other hand, this young man outright challenged me, insulted me, and refused to do the bonus Like altogether. a real nigga. Even though he knew the consequences of not doing it. That right there was a young man standing on business. And since he said he speaks for all of you, I decided to pass all of you. That's what I'm talking Even about. Even though they can't fight, that's Swing Set Street about. might not be as trash as I thought. Now that that's out the way, the proctor for the second part of the exam should be here soon. Huh? That was a pretty long trip to the bathroom. Didn't you say you just had to pee? Well, you know, I drank a lot of tea before the test, and we all know lying, how quick bro. that You're a liar. Up. Am I right? Technically, you weren't here when I gave them the option to leave. So I guess I'll let you and your little puppet slide for now. Oh, so you think you're clever, huh? Well, just because you're clever doesn't change the fact that you're a nick. Who that? The second part of the exams will be starting tomorrow by the forest Yeah, she gate. pulled up like and that? And if you're not there, I'll come hunt you down myself. And Damn. you don't want that. Trust me. She reminds Ooh. me of Kakashi Ooh. Sensei. Okay, I expect to, to see go you into all the at the training field tomorrow morning. This is gonna be nice. And if you don't show up, I'll find you and give you some brutal one-on-one -on -one nutsack training. Mm. This is gonna be nice. I ain't gonna lie. I might have to rewatch Naruto, bro. I mean, this has actually helped me out, but I might have to rewatch it because I remember that. Yo. This episode was heat. Man, I'm talking about, bro, the dialogue, amazing. Um, The fucking, how he explained, like, why he passed everybody at the end. I love that, bro, because I was complaining, bro. I was mad. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was about to walk out my damn self. I'm about to walk out on this video, bro, and become a part of the Akatsuki, bro. I, that's literally what I was about to do. Just 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 based off of how this video is making me feel, bro. Like you making me take this test, bro. And you give me that bogus ass bonus question. Huh? Like what? Anyway, that was a really good video. That's a long video. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking. If y'all like the reaction, let me let me know down in the comments. Always subscribe to OBZ. Um, like his shit. And um, yeah, it's your boy OG from the Woke Clan. And I'm out.